Hmm. Can you afford living closer to Boston? Stay tuned and check out this video. Hey everyone, my name is Matt Swirk. I'm a local real estate expert right here in Massachusetts with the Legacy Star Team powered by Keller Williams Realty. Now, if this is the first time you've come here, definitely hit subscribe, click the bell. Every time we make a video, you're gonna be notified. What are you subscribing to? We talk everything about Massachusetts, about eating, sleeping, drinking, playing. What's it like to live close to the city and everything else? So we know you have questions about Massachusetts. We have answers for you. Go ahead and send us an email, text, phone call, whatever makes you comfortable. We'll get back to you as quick as we can. Remember, when it comes to Massachusetts, we've always got your back. Today we're talking about the communities just north of Boston, right? We have this area called North Shore. Uh, we could get into, I consider this, this whole thing North Shore because anything north of Boston to me is North Shore because I'm a South Shore guy. There's a dividing line. We've talked about that silly rivalry from before. Um, but it, as far as the North Shore of, of um, Boston's concerned, you know, this is, one of the things I love about the North Shore is that, you know, the South Shore, we have the access down towards the Cape and the, and the South Coast. Um, and, you know, and then going south on the, on the the East Coast. However, on the North Shore of Massachusetts, or, or the, the North Shore of Boston, I love that because that's the gateway to New England to me. And I love all the other states that are part of New England. So um, this is a cool place to be. I've lived in some areas here. I used to own a business in one of the areas. Um, you know, that. let's talk about the first thing everyone loves, food, right? Um, sure, listen, you can go to Boston. You're going to spend a lot of money. You know, you can easily go anywhere and spend from 70 to $200, uh, you know, on a casual meal. Um, that's not going to be the case as far as uh, north of the city, right? And you're going to have, like, there's so many little places that just hole in the walls, little hidden gems, just absolute brilliancy, right? Uh, you have a place like Jean's Flatbread Cafe. You go in there and grab something for like seven bucks, right? Um, another fan favorite's over in Medford, Bob's Italian. Oh my gosh, like braided rolls, delicious. Uh, you know, you got to get the oil on the sub. If you don't know what I'm talking about that, you know, you got to get Hutt's uh, True Italian Sandwich. You know, that's a if you don't know what an Italian sandwich is, oh my gosh, like come to Massachusetts, we got some great Italian sandwiches. So a lot of these places, you know, you, you might not have the, the gorgeous view of the city at being the top of the hub, but you want decent, no, I take that back. You want awesome food at a decent place. There's so many great places. There is some really nice high-end places. There's, you know, the hole in the walls that you would, you walk by and you're like, I would never eat there. Sometimes they have the best food. So definitely check out different places, but there's so many awesome food options um, in the North, North Shore as far as Massachusetts. Now, we want to talk as far as that region, right? And we're, we're going to talk something fun, different. Uh, we're talking gas prices, right? So um, this hits close to my heart. I just filled up my pickup truck today. It was pushing 108 bucks to fill up the tank. Now, I was on empty. Yeah, exactly. So um, when I was buying a pickup truck, I was like, hey, what's the mi miles per gallon? And the guy's like, you're buying a pickup truck. Don't ask for miles per gallon. But I was looking at this thing. that was It got eight miles to the gallon. I'm like, that's ridiculous. So anyway, uh, so gas prices, right? The the national average for gas right now is just over um, three dollars and twenty eight cents, right? And we actually are just north of the city. Uh, the average is about three dollars and nine cents. So we're below that national average. So north of the city, you're gonna it's anywhere from three oh nine all the way up to three sixty, right? Um, and for the state of Massachusetts, the median gas price is three nineteen. So they have some gas below above. I mean, really. It is what it is as far as gas, right? I think what I paid, I paid in North Central Mass today was three thirty-one a gallon, right? So that kind of fits right in the middle there. So we're all kind of close there as far as gas is concerned. Um, I don't know why I'm all excited about gas, but we're gonna move on to that one because it's driving me a little crazy for some strange reason. But anyway, um, healthcare, right? So we know we like to tell, hey, we got the best healthcare in the country, and so or we have the best hospitals in the area. I mean, we have good medical facilities here. I don't know if we have the best healthcare pricing, um, but it's pretty interesting as far as the tiers. Now, what we want to make sure, this is a critical note, we're going to wait, like we're not, a, we're not attorneys, we're not, um, we're not healthcare experts, we're just pulling some data here. When I give you these quotes, remember, 
this is all going to be based on, uh, you know, there's so many different factors that uh, will come into what your healthcare cost is going to be. Um, so we're not here to advise you about health. We're just reading some data, right? So I, that's all I'm going to say. Disclaimer, you know, it depends on what you've done with your body or haven't done with your body that's going to change things and what things look like. And anyway, so... Um, I have some numbers right in front of me here, but the in 2001, right, so the, um, this year, the average for the lowest cost of like a bronze premium package, you know, it's $277, right? Um, for the silver package, you're looking at $357, so it goes up, and then the gold package is $419. Um, and those numbers, you know, of course we see increases over the years, but we haven't seen skyrockets as far as our insurance costs, which is great, right? Because uh, we, we love to complain about the weather, we love to complain about taxes, we love to complain about things going up, right? Um, but as far as healthcare is concerned, I think it's 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 pretty affordable. And like I said, you know, we have some great uh, medical facilities here, so you can't go wrong. A lot of people come here to get things, uh, different things done. So um, healthcare is, you know, that that's a big plus. So um, again, when it comes to insurance, we're just taking a small segment because insurance, right? Like it really depends on what your driving record is, um, depends on where you live, right? Like there's one community, we're not going to call them out, but, um, you know, what, you want me to call them out? No, no, no. Okay, no, okay, 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 okay. I like this. All right, perfect, perfect. Better. Right? Names have been changed to protect the innocent, right? <laughs> um, but uh, certain areas that are more densely populated, that might be more targets as far as crime and auto theft. I just recently learned my truck is on like the top 10 for stolen vehicles. So I was like, oh my gosh, like who's going to want my Toyota Tacoma? No, I don't have one of those. I'm tricking all the thieves out there. Come find my other truck. No. All right. Um, and, and of course, your driving record. Uh, you hear me sometimes say like I'm a little aggressive as a driver because I'm like I have insurance and everyone else has insurance, so let's bump them up if we have to. Um, especially driving a truck, yeah, I got kind of a big truck driver guy thing. Um, anyway, my chiropractor says stay in it. I've told that on a video another times, uh, but there's no cookie cutter as far as insurance is concerned. Um, but really, the the national average for insurance for car insurance, you know, it's 134 dollars, right? The national average for Massachusetts is 90, or not the national average, but the statewide average is 94 dollars as far as insurance is concerned. You know, Woburn's 91, so it's a little bit lower some of these communities you have some dense areas north of the city you have some areas a little bit more spread out so again um, it kind of falls in line with the state average but our insurance you know it's interesting because our insurance costs are less so um, I guess we're doing something right as far as the the insurance is concerned so those are a little kind of fun things about the food, the gas, the healthcare. Now, of course, we want to get into the real estate market, not the market itself, but just overall, right? Now, there's a lot of data. It's not a lot of data. I'm not going to be, you know, sitting here for hours and you're going to be falling asleep. But I just want to hit a couple areas, just give you a feel of what's out there. This might be helpful. We had uh, someone that called and was looking to buy a house, and we identified some of these communities that we thought that they might be interested in. Uh, and there is a couple that they like. So um, here's some data for that person that was out there. Wanda, how you doing? Um, so. So, all right, north of the city, we have Tewksbury, right? And there's no pac pac yeah, Pacific. There's no specific. We're on the Atlantic Ocean. There's no specific uh, rhyme or reason to this. Tukes and we're not going to get deep into these right now, but Tewksbury, nice area. That's a nice town. Um, everything's nice in Massachusetts, in my opinion. So right off of 495, the, that's one of those roads that uh, curves around the city. We have 95, 495. We have Route 90. We have 93. Those are the main ones. And we have Route 9 that's in there, too. Um, so this one's pretty accessible. Um, uh, it's also very, it, it touches 93 as well. So if you can imagine 93 goes up and 495 comes in, Tewksbury's kind of here, and then there's a little town that's uh, part of that. That, that crosses over. Um, so home prices, again, we know that the, as a country, everything has gone up as far as prices. A year ago, we have a 19% increase as far as home values in Tewksbury. You know, your average home is going to cost you about 560000 right? Um, your rent prices, those have gone up 16%. We're going to talk all one bedrooms as far as uh, rentals are concerned. You know, you're looking at a little over $2,100 to rent a one bedroom, right? Um, Woburn, like we were just talking about, average home price is about six hundred and twenty-six thousand, so a little bit higher than uh, than Tewksbury. Uh, that to me, it's a little. I think it's a little more accessible. You have different things around it, so that might be why the value is higher. Um, you know, that's that's gone up fifteen percent. 34% increase of rent where you can rent a one bedroom over there for almost twenty-three hundred bucks, right? Um, so that's something um, you know you're going to pay more for for different amenities. Now we're going to swing over to a couple of the cities, right? So we have Lynn. Uh, Lynn, 
you might have heard some things about Lynn, but Lynn is a is a is an amazing place now. Um, they've had an eighteen percent increase of home values. Their average price is about uh, four hundred eighty three thousand, right? So you got a good value there. Definitely more of a city. Definitely more compact. Um, the rent is actually a little bit cheaper over there. Um, at, uh, believe it or not, it's, they've only had a fourteen percent increase, but seventeen hundred dollars, well seventeen fifty is the average as far as a one bedroom apartment, right? Um, the other one uh, that's really interesting is this uh, t city called Revere, right? Now, again, like I paused with Lynn, there was a couple communities that might have been uh, a little depressed or distressed. Uh, Lynn has been an amazing turnaround. Revere, oh my gosh, like it has it has been a huge turnaround. There's been there's luxury condos on the Revere Beach now. Uh, I said Revere Beach, so of course it's right on the water. Um, you know, the, the average home price is about five hundred ten thousand dollars, right? Mm -hmm. Um, they've had an increase about 10%. There's a lot of activity that's happened there. Um, you know, one bedroom, this goes to show you, a one bedroom apartment is about $2,400, right? That's had a 29% increase. So there's a lot of activity, a lot of development in these areas. Uh, it, you know, and right next to Revere, you have Malden, right? Um, Malden, I love Malden. I have a place in my heart because I actually used to work there for a little bit, right? Uh, they have some really cool restaurants over there. Um, Oh my gosh, the dock side. I don't know if they're still around. I haven't been over there in a little bit, but their uh, their buffalo chicken fingers. Oh my gosh, like they were so good. They don't bread them. They drop these like massive. I think the chickens are on steroids. They're like huge, and it's just so good. And their blue cheese dressing. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm a big fan of blue cheese. Um, yeah, I know it's moldy, but holy moly, it's delicious. So uh, over in Malden, you know these numbers, I get really surprised every time I look at them. You know the average home sale is about five hundred eighty-seven thousand, right? They've had a fifteen percent increase uh, over the past year. Um, so all there's a lot of development that's happening in our state, and specifically up in that area. And you know, I, I would say all over the place because as I now start to think about our state in different regions, there's just so much growth. So we're ready. We're ready to have you come here. Um, but as far as the North Shore, you know, like I said at the beginning, I love the access as far as getting up into uh, into New England. There's so many different ways to go. It's it's way less expensive than living in Boston, and it's very close, right? You can, uh, like I was talking about, as far as Revere and Malden, like there's uh, bus and train that you can take into the city. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of. Um, there's a lot of uh, park and rides with uh, the Logan Express, which is the bus that, that brings you out to the airport. Um, so you get much more bang for your buck. You know, you have a place like Cambridge or Somerville, and you know it, it's really, really expensive. It can be more than expensive in the city, uh, but you get you have all the access. So you, the the city's at your fingertips, and that's why I love kind of the contrast of growing up on a city, the city south of uh, Boston and Quincy. Same thing on the other side. These communities are right there, so they had the same experience as I did as a kid. I'm sure, as far as coming in, the city was our playground. Jump on the train and go back up. You know, go back home when the dinner bell was ringing. Um, so yeah that doesn't happen anymore so and, and generally just everything in general is cheaper outside of the city right and you have some different taxes you have to pay and you know there's like car rental taxes and you know um, hotel taxes that are on there so you definitely want to um, keep your eyes on other uh, communities like there is uh, Wo you know we talked a little bit about Woburn but like Stoneham North Reading like you have some really good deals that come on the market once in a while in those areas so um, if you have specifics about those um, communities definitely reach out to us as usual uh, but that's just a couple little you know things that we wanted to highlight all right, so the North Shore, I don't know if I sold you on it. If not, that's okay. If you don't like it, we can go to the South Shore. I'll show, I'll, 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 I'll show you that one too. Um, so if you're coming here to live, if you're coming here just to check out the area, if you're looking here to rent, like anything you want to know about the area, you know, go ahead. Like I said, you can reach out to us. You call us, text us, email us. Uh, we're getting new systems in place to get back to people as quick as we can. We're grateful for everyone watching. Um, any questions you have, we have the answers for you. When it comes to Massachusetts, we've always got your back.